I noticed that you spoke out. You weren't afraid about speaking out about Trump, your feelings towards Trump. Yeah. What I thought about, and they're not flattering, let's face it, you know, but here's what I would want asking. Did playing Trumbo, because a lot of actors won't speak out on stuff. They'd rather not say anything. It's like Michael Jordan won't say anything, you know, uh, politically. A lot of actors won't do that. They don't want to lose an audience. They, uh, But I was wondering, did playing Trumbo and his courage influence you to speak out on stuff like that, or is this just strictly a coincidence? Uh, thing? That's a great question. I think I, it must have. I, I can't believe it didn't. I think it must have. And also playing Lyndon Johnson. Right. And, and, and doing the research and finding out what politics in the 60s and earlier were like and what they are now. And they are completely different now. Um, I knew from reading Robert Carroll's books and, and all the other research books on, on LBJ that uh, he spent a tremendous amount of time, uh, 12 years in the House, 12 years in the Senate before he became the vice president. He knew all the players. They dined with each other. Right. It was There was no, uh, they're totally Republican, different. I'm a Democrat, I can't go out with them. Totally different. They, com they knew each other completely. So the next day when you're hammering out a bill you're not going to throw that guy under the bus. You like him. You like his wife. You met his kids. Right, that doesn't happen anymore. You, you have a tendency. So I want to start a policy. Let's, let's begin this journey of not trying to demonize those who have opinions that differ from your ideology. If you and I were on the other side of the fence, I'm not, I'm not going to put you down or say you're, uh, you're foolish or an idiot for thinking that. And there's so much finger pointing now and so much vitriol that, that we don't get anywhere, that Congress has their arms folded and they're not budging. And we have to stop that. We've made politics a sporting event where we think if you win, that means I lose. And that's not the case. If you win and it's a good idea for the country, I win too. We all win. We just have a different opinion of how to approach the the solutions to the problems. You're That's gonna, all it is. You're going to feel that way if Trump wins? Hey. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> that being said, Trump is an anomaly to presidential elections. He's uh, I think he's an anomaly to humankind. Well, here's the difference, though. I, I, I would vote for El Chapo before I'd vote for Donald <laughs> Trump, to be fair. <laughs> However, that being said, he's better than Cruz for me. Because Cruz is an ideologue, and Trump, is it, Trump at the end of the day is going to make a deal. Trump at the end of the day is going to, you give me 85%, 80% of what I want, good enough. The other guys are not. They'll shut yeah. down the government. It's my way or the highway. But that's like saying, who, who do you want governing your country? Do you want Mussolini yeah, or do you Stalin. want Hitler? It's you a Hitler-Stalin argument. Yeah.